welcome you all to this course on industry 4.0 so we will discuss the introduction historical context and some of the key technologies behind industry 4.0 in this particular class to begin with let me just tell you what is this industry 4.0 okay so industry 4.0 is considered as a revolution for having significant impact in social political and economic shift from the digital age of the late 1990s and the early 2000s to an era of embedded connectivity it has blurred the uh, demarcation between the physical and digital and the biological worlds the industry 4.0 represents advancements in uh, computational technologies and their integration into industries it focuses uh, on key uh, digital connectivity technologies it is based on data driven decision making and it aims to transform the ma manufacturing and service sectors so this is basically what is industry 4.0 so if we look into industry 1.0 it was basically based on harnessing the steam power okay steam uh, engine is something which actually gave a push to, to this industry uh, 1.0 so if we look into the economics capitalism came on and if you look, look into the political uh, co concepts basically the coli colonization uh, started in fact uh, you can see that if you read history uh, great britain then uh, france and many other european countries started to colonize different parts of the world because they wanted to secure the raw materials basically social aspect is also there uh, that means there was a working class that came out of this particular industrial revolution then technological uh, aspect is there for locomotives mm -hmm. uh, then uh, spinning mills this on came on to revolutionize the industrial sectors so basically a movement is called a revolution when it has imp when it actually impacts multiple dimensions of the society okay like in the industry 1.0 we have seen the impact okay in terms of economics politics social and technological similarly in industry 4.0 the impact will be on these particular aspects like manufacturing will be obviously revo revolutionized competitiveness of nations will increase okay nature of employment will also change like pre right now a lot of the industries are mostly uh, very much aligned with the manpower requirement like the a lot of manpower is required in the in the industries so that might be replaced by machines in the industry 4.0 then profitability of companies is another aspect that is going to change uh, companies which will be implementing uh, industry 4.0 will become highly profitable over time okay so these are some of the aspects of industry 4.0 so if we look and look at industry 4.0 it will be impl uh, impacting all aspects of the value chain so if we look into the current maintenance repair and overhaul normally uh, there are two kinds of maintenance that we do right now let's say uh, we have a machinery okay we can do some preventive maintenance so as to uh, avoid any failure or and sometimes after failure we have to do the maintenance but with industry 4.0 all the uh, like diagnostic data will be captured in the cloud and uh companies will be uh, be able to predict when the maintenance will be required so this is these are basically some of the sectors okay or different you can say different aspects of this value chain where in industry 4.0 will be impacting okay we will look at into it in detail as we progress further so if we look into the definition of this industry 4.0 okay it represents the current wave of technological advancements and their integration into industries like when the steam engine was there it was integrated into the industries like into the locomotive lo locomotives etc okay in the same way whatever technologies exist in current age they will be actually integrated into the into the industries so it focuses its focus basically involves the use of digital technologies like ar vr digital twins similarly on the connectivity point of view cloud computing internet of things machine to machine communication okay and if we look at the data driven decision making uh, context then ai based prediction data analytics all these things will be used into 
industries so what is the objective here like the objective here is to collect and leverage the industrial big data users this is to basically to drive manufacturing and supply chain automation to provide real time insights okay establish communication feedback loops for faster decision making in the manufacturing process okay i'll give you an example here like let's say there's a company okay which is manufacturing cloths okay and it, let's say it has got hold of some big data which uh, actually provides some uh, insights into the uh, current trends that is being followed by the youth so accordingly the company can actually change uh, its uh, products basically so as to suit the uh, demands of the uh, customers so let us look into the historical context of the uh, industrial revolutions okay so the first industrial revolution it started in the late 18th century and it continued up to early 19th century the first industrial revolution also known as uh, the industrial revolution itself okay it began in the 18th century in britain and later it's uh, spread to other parts of the europe the united states and also parts of asia it was uh, characterized by a shift from uh, agrarian manual labor based economies to those reliant on uh, mechanized manufacturing basically so the key developments included the invention of steam engine textile machinery and the mechanization of agriculture this revolution actually transformed uh, the production processes it increased productivity and it also led to growth of factories and urbanization okay so lot of this uh, like uh, work were previously being done by human and animals basically so they were now replaced by steam powered uh, like machines for example uh, previously the uh, carriages were actually pulled by horses etc so now they replaced all these with steam based trucks also some of these uh, steam based trucks you can find in some museums in uh, europe now if we go into the second industrial revolution it started in late 19th century to the early 20th century <laughs> the second industrial revolution sometimes it is also known as the technological revolution it occurred in the late 19th and the early 20th centuries like i told so this period was actually marked by significant advancements in technology especially in the field of electricity steel and transportation the key innovations uh, included uh, basically the development of telegraph telephone uh, electrical power generation was also available the internal combustion engine was also there then assembly line is also one of the Uh, like key aspects of this second industrial revolution these advancements actually led to mass production of goods okay so major aspect of this industrial revolution is the mass production basically okay so these uh, <coughs> the rise of industrial giants also happened during this time there was expansion of global, global trade okay and transportation networks basically then if we go into the third industrial revolution okay which actually happened in the late 20th century till 2015 actually it continued so the third industrial revolution also it is known as the digital revolution or the information age it emerged uh, in the late 20th century and it was characterized by the widespread adoption of computers and uh, the digital technology and one of the key important aspects is the internet that came up during this era the key developments also included the invention of microprocessors uh, personal computers the internet expansion of telecommunication networks mobile networks were also available during this period so the third industrial revolution transformed industries by digitizing the processes enabling automation facilitating global communication and creating new business models okay it also gave rise to knowledge economy and a rapid exchange of information okay so because uh, there was uh, the availability of fiber optic networks okay and uh, then uh, the wireless communication also evolved that's why a uh, lot of like progress was there in the third industrial revolution similarly uh, the current era if we look into is called the fourth industrial revolution 
okay so let us look into the important aspects of this industrial revolution so the fourth industrial revolution uh, uh, it is also known as the industry 4.0 okay it represents the ongoing wave of <coughs> technological advancements that began in the late 20th century and continues till today so it builds upon the foundation of the third industrial revolution so basically those technologies digital technologies uh, and the connectivity and all these things that were there they will be uh, quite more integrated okay so as to enable the data dis driven decision making so industry 4.0 is characterized by the emergence of cyber physical systems okay the internet of things these are some of the key technologies artificial intelligence big data analytics advanced robotics okay so these technologies will be actually enabling this industry 4.0 <coughs> it aims to revolutionize the manufacturing processes and uh, the aim is to create smart factories to optimize supply chains and to enable the development of innovative products and services so basically if we look into this industrial revolution each industrial revolution has brought uh, about significant changes in the society the economy and the way we work okay so they have transformed the industries every industrial revolution if we see has transformed the industries okay it has also improved the living standards of the people okay and it has actually reshaped the global trade and communication so this fourth industrial revolution it represents the latest phase of ongoing technological advancement and digital transformation okay so some of the key technologies like we discussed like uh, cyber physical systems okay internet of things and ai big data analytics all these things will be driving this industrial revolution so like we discussed okay uh, the framework of uh, this industry 4.0 consists of all these advanced technologies like big data predictive maintenance okay actually big data will enable this the predictive maintenance so iot internet of things when we talk about internet of things then co comes the smart sensors sensor fusion okay cloud computing will also be used artificial intelligence automation which was already there from the uh, previous industrial revolution it will be also one of the driving factors in the framework advanced algorithms will be there okay so now we will discuss the requirements uh, of industry 4.0 the three major requirements of industry 4.0 are smart communication data quality and smart devices if we look into communication uh communication has actually advanced significantly over the last 200 years from telegraph to computer intranets and from computer uh, intranets to world wide web and the internet that we use today and since uh, 90s uh, we can see the pace of data communication has increased exponentially while in the 90s it was in kbps right now after the launch of 4g 5g etc and the fiber optic networks we are seeing data rates in gigabits per second now industry 4.0 is a communication and uh, interconnectivity revolution in fact the assembly line and all these manufacturing were already there what is actually missing is this interconnectivity revolution okay so the overwhelming amount of data communication is now too vast for humans alone to analyze and make decisions so the goal of this industry 4.0 is smart communications where machines will be communicating with each other and that will lead to the factory automation okay the second uh, important requirement of this industrial revolution 4.0 is the data quality so if we if we look into data okay data is the cornerstone of this industry 4.0 okay factory automation is basically dependent on the collection of uh co collection as well as communication of this data okay uh <coughs> data intelligence and communication are only as good as the quality of data if the data quality is not good obviously the whole system will fail long the aim had been basically to collect as much data as possible okay and from that uh, they were actually trying to gather some information or insights from the data however in if we look into industry 4.0 the quality of data is actually more important than the quantity of data because a lot of low quality data means more resources being consumed and less accurate outputs okay 
similarly the third requirement is basically the smart devices okay an example of industry 4.0 connected smart device is let's say visual sensors attached to robotic arms that send and receive the data okay it is also uh, like it can also uh, include equipment like autonomous robots that move products from one factory floor to some other place some heavy materials can be moved so <coughs> industrial smart devices use these sensors <coughs> to collect data to make autonomous decisions while simultaneously communicating with a more extensive system okay automated communication actually enables independent synchroni synchronization across an entire smart factory okay so <coughs> these are the major requirements for industry 4.0 now let us look into uh, the building blocks of industry 4.0 so the basically the major building blocks of industry 4.0 are the first one is uh, the big data analytics this big data analytics it involves the collection storage and analysis of large volumes of data this is done to uncover uh, patterns trends insights okay and it basically utilizes advanced algorithms and machine learning techniques to basically provide and derive actionable information from diverse data sources generated by generated by machines sensors and other digital systems another important uh, building block of this industry 4.0 is the advanced robotics okay so advanced robotics uh, involve the use of sophisticated robo robotic systems and machines capable of performing complex tasks these robots are often equipped with uh, ai or computer vision sometimes uh, sensors are also there sensor technologies to interact with the physical environment <coughs> and they can actually collaborate with humans in various industrial settings so robotic systems can perform tasks with precision and efficiency okay while uh, the ai algorithms enable autonomous decision making on real time okay so <coughs> automation actually leads to improved productivity and uh, it will also reduce errors and it will also enable uh, the robots to handle complex tasks okay another important aspect here is the simulation okay normally simulation tools or technologies are uh, within the industry 4.0 framework and they actually intend to optimize the business processes in all kinds of industries they actually enable the recreation of virtual processes or technical systems in real world with the within a controlled and a repeatable environment normally if you are going to implement something you can simulate them and you can analyze uh, them for any issues actually let's say you are man manufacturing some aeroplane okay you can simulate and you can actually find out uh, what would happen if the aeroplane actually flies what will be the effects on the body frame okay all these things can be simulated similarly if you have a supply chain you can even simulate a supply chain and you can find out where the bo bottlenecks might happen so simulation is also one of the major building blocks of industry 4.0 uh, traditionally industry management and control systems have been divided into analysis management and execution systems which is basically industrial computing and your control supervision and communication equipment okay so all these connections that occur between machines and sensors are actually divided into these two kinds of system the evolution of these two worlds enhanced by automation and standardization and integration of equipment has made it possible to integrate data generated by different equipment suppliers and co uh, computer applications used in a company okay while Uh, the horizontal integration normally refers to integration of various IT systems used in the different stages of business manufacturing processes. The vertical integration also focuses on integration of IT systems, but at different hierarchical levels to provide an end-to-end -end solution. So integration is one of also one of the important building blocks here. Next is the Internet of Things. Okay, so this Internet of Things, also known as IoT, refers to the network of interconnected physical devices, sensors, and uh, s the objects embedded with software, electronics, and network connectivity. Basically, IoT enables the collection, exchange, and analysis of data from different sources, creating a seamless flow of information between machines, systems, and humans. 
so this will be also one of the building blocks next is artificial intelligence and machine learning this is one of the major building blocks in uh, industry 4.0 ai actually en uh, encompasses technologies that enable machines to perform tasks that requ uh, typically require human intelligence basically machine learning is a subset of ai or artificial intelligence mm -hmm. and it involves algorithms that allow systems to learn from data and improve the performance over time okay so uh, ai and machine learning play a vital role in this industry 4.0 by enabling automation predictive analytics and autonomous decision making as th all these systems will be connected okay one of the major uh, building blocks here is the cyber security okay so this digitization brings many benefits right but there are also certain risks and one of them is the increased level of exposure to cyber attacks and the repercussions that an event of these characteristics can have okay the effects can be like this like there can be data theft or theft of sensitive information okay uh, which will, be, will which will be actually a major issue because the systems will be all connected through internet so there are a, a lot of chances of this kind of activities of uh, data theft etc so that's why this cyber security is actually very much required in the industry 4.0 next important block is the cloud com computing block okay so cloud computing actually provides scalable and on demand access to shared computing resources over the internet it enables storage processing retrieval etc of vast amounts of data and it also facilitates the deployment and management of complex software systems now cloud computing actually allows organizations to leverage uh, remote servers software and services for efficient data management and computation so this is also one of the major building blocks of this uh, industry 4.0 okay next major uh, building block is the additive manufacturing okay actually the previously whatever kind of manufacturing we were doing that was actually subtractive manufacturing okay let's say you need to take a, take a metal block and you put it into a cnc machine and you try to design something what the cnc machine will do it will use a drill to actually chip out the unwanted parts from that particular metal block so as to design the shape of your choice now the problem with that kind of manufacturing is subtractive manufacturing is that there is a lot of wastage which can be avoided if we use the additive manufacturing process okay some of the additive manufacturing uh, technology actually exist and they can be integrated into industry 4.0 okay so one of this uh, techniques is the 3d printing okay 3d printing is a type of additive technology that allows a three dimensional reproduction of a design that has been previously created digitally okay so this the application of this technology in industrial environments is what is known as additive manufacturing okay so it will be also one of the important blocks of industry 4.0 another important block is the augmented reality augmented reality or in short it is called ar in the industrial world requires reliable and precise devices capable of visualizing for example 3d elements in high resolution actually augmented reality is a combination of real scene viewed by a viewer and a virtual scene generated by the computer that augments this scene with additional information augmented reality adds uh, virtual computer generated objects uh, then audio and other sense enhancements to a real world environment in real time the goal is uh, of this ar is to create a system such that a user can cannot tell the difference between the real world and the virtual augmentation of it okay so it has a lot of applications uh, on the technology aspects point of view it can be used in medical entertainment military and engineering fields so this is all about uh, the this first lecture see you in the next lecture